Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a near full face of Dior and throw in a little bit of those new Chanel blushes as well. I've done all my skincare for the morning and the last step of course is always my sunscreen. That was about two or three hours ago so about 10 or 15 minutes before this video I reapplied my sunscreen. So I'm also going to be trying on today the brand new the Dior the Plan de Paris eyeshadow palette. That is the coral one. I've already done a video on the beautiful blue one and also the one with the burgundy plum and pinks in it as well so for primer today i'm going to use the chanel one this was the one that was released last year this is my second tube of it i absolutely love it i have a few primers this is probably the one that i reach for the most i also like the Dior one as well that was i think it was it last year or the year before that it was released that is really lovely but this is the one that I tend to reach for the most. So I'm going to be using the new Dior foundation stick again this morning. I've used it quite a few times since the original video I did where I also showed it in natural light. And it is absolutely beautiful. Really, really gorgeous foundation. So I've just let that primer sit for about two or three minutes. Now I'm going to put on this Dior foundation stick. Mine is in the shade, it's 2.5N. I'm usually a 2.5N in Dior foundations. And this shade is, I think it's just really perfect for me. So if you haven't tried this yet and you're thinking of getting it and the usual shade that you are in Dior, if you pick that for this foundation stick, then you probably won't go wrong. Now I've also seen a couple of other videos on this and there is some thought that if you put the stick directly onto your face, it can be a bit thick. I don't find that it is. I just find that you've got to go fairly easy with it. It doesn't look for me like mask like or anything like that. I think it is really beautiful applied this way. Of course, you can take your brush and just wipe over the tip of the foundation stick itself and apply it that way. But for me, directly applying it to the face, I think the end result looks really beautiful. And then if I want to build it up, then I just add a little bit more just through the places if I want a little bit more coverage. So just going to put some on the other side. So normally about three swipes is what I use just to begin. But the finish of this is just absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you saw my original video on this when I did a wear test with it, and I absolutely loved it, but of course it is winter here now in New Zealand. Spring is just nearly around the corner, and I'm very excited about that. What I am wondering is how this will wear with my oily skin when the weather is a lot warmer, and not necessarily spring or early summer, but during January when it is the hottest here. I'm not quite sure how it will hold up. I imagine... It will be okay i just probably need to just repowder it two or three times throughout the day but the finish of it is just absolutely beautiful in for concealer i'm going to use the dior forever this is the skin correct i have this in two shades this one is 2wp and i think the other one might be it's either 2N or 2.5N. This is the one that I prefer. It has more of a peachy undertone, so it just helps. It sort of corrects as well as conceals. But I love the formula of this. I think it blends out beautifully and it doesn't settle into my fine lines. I'm just going to take the BK Beauty brush. This one is, it's the anti hot and flashy one, and this is the A, it's the... It's 506. Through the night, see your house from the highway way up high. Things are so different now, I suppose. I should get used to letting go of all I know about you so long. So I push on through going through the motions Nowhere close to your devotion Feel so far but couldn't be standing close 
closer Cause I could write an entire record about you, baby And I'd hate the way the world And just before I powder, I'm going to put on the new, this is the Dior, this is the contour stick this is in the shade 03 medium. So I'm just going to put a little bit through here. Now I have worn this quite a few times since I purchased it as well. And I think it says on the website something like 12 hours wear and it does have really good longevity. The hours that I've been wearing my makeup is around about 10 to 12 hours and you can still see the shading where the contour stick is. So when it says that it is long wearing, it definitely is. And it is just smooth and buttery and blends out really beautifully. I'm going to take the Sonia G. This is the sheer buffer. And look how easily that blends out. It's just absolutely gorgeous and very user-friendly, I think. Really, really beautiful. The other contour, I don't have a lot of contours. The other one that I can think of that I quite like off the top of my head, and Charlotte Tilbury has one in that little wand with the sponge in the end, and that's a very user-friendly one as well. But this is absolutely beautiful. And for powder, I'm going to use the Chanel Natural Finish Loose Powder. And I'm just going to pop just a little bit into the cap. And I think today, I might put it on, often I use a brush, but I think today I'll use the Chanel Puff. I've got about two or three of these, and I really love that they just wash up so easily. So when you wash them, they just look like brand new. So I just push all the powder into the puff. Then I just do sort of a, it's a, like a rolling technique. And then for bronzer today, I'm going to use the Dior. This is the contour and glow. And I'm just going to use this side. This is number 100. And the other one that is a lot deeper, that is number 200 and that works really well as a contour and it also works really beautifully on the eyes as well and I may use a little bit of that on the eyes today the number 200. This is a Sonia G brush this is the Niji Pro. Now for me this is too light to be a contour but I use it as a very light bronzer and I just love the beautiful soft sun-kissed look that it gives and again just blends out absolutely beautifully so now let's put on this beautiful quint and of course the packaging it's absolutely stunning i love it now there's just one of these quints that i haven't got these three ones i purchased from harrods and they aren't yet released here in new zealand but when they are I'll probably pick up the fourth one as well. I saw Liz from Chicago Lua Luxury Makeup apply it. I wasn't going to get that quint, but now that I've seen it on her, I think it's gorgeous. So I think I will purchase that one as well. So here is number 663, and this is Saint Honor, and it is gorgeous, really beautiful. And I have used it at least three times since I purchased it and again just like the other two quints absolutely beautiful so these are swatched from left to right top to bottom and then the middle shade last now these two shades here even that really beautiful coral these are this one here is definitely a topper and this one sort of leans towards a topper as well it's more sheer and then the only matte that you've got in this quint is this shade here so I'm going to take the Sony G brush, this is the Blender Pro, and I'm going to start off with this shade here. And I'm going to take that all over the lid and just build it up a little bit more in the outer corner. Now I'm going to take the Sony G, this is the pencil one. I'm going to stay with that shade and I'm going to run a little bit of this on my lower lash line.
and then I'm going to build up a shade just a little bit more in the outer corner so I've got the wrapper this is the number 13 it's just like my favorite wrapper 14 just that it's a little bit more smaller for detailed work I'm going to take Sony G this is the builder 3 and I'm going to go into this beautiful coral shade here and I'm going to put that on the rest of my lid Then I'm going to take the reference number 23, I'm going to stay with this coral shade and I'm going to put a little bit of this on my lower lash line. I'm going to go into this top shade here and I'm just going to use my finger and put it over the top of that coral shade that I just put on. Now I did this the other day and I loved it over the top, I thought it just gave it just that little bit of an extra lift. Then I'm going to take the wrapper three. I'm going to go into this shade here and I'm going to just pop some of that in the inner corner. And then for eyeliner, I'm going to use the Dior Show. This has recently been reformulated and the shade that I'm going to use today, it is in matte. This is in matte taupe. And then I've just swiped down my wrapper number 13 and this is the deeper contour shade that I was talking about that works beautifully on the eyes. So I'm just going to put just a little bit of this just in the outer corner just to show you. I'll just deepen it up a little bit through there. Not a lot, just a very tiny amount. Now I did this the other day when I used this quint as well. So you can leave it just like this or just slightly, just slightly deepen it up. But this works beautifully on the eyes as well. And just by adding that little bit more of depth in the outer corner, it brings these two beautiful shades out even more. I really like it with that just that deeper shade. Now of course you don't have to use this one if you haven't got it but if you do have this Quint from Dior and you've got a really cocoa brown matte eyeshadow then you can always pop that in to get that effect but I just think it looks really pretty. And for blush today I'm going to use the beautiful, these are the new Chanel, these are the cream to powder blushes and I'm going to use two today. I'm going to use the beautiful beige one and then I'm just going to put just a touch of the Rouge Franc one as well. Now I've done two videos on these. In the first video I use the shade and also the two rose ones and in the second video I use two of the more bold ones, one being the Rouge Franc and the other one that's more of a plum burgundy shade but all five are beautiful and the formula is just gorgeous. Now I've wiped down the Sony G, this is the sheer buffer and I'm going to go into this really gorgeous beige first. Now you can apply these using your fingers or a brush, it's completely up to you. You do get more payoff initially, although they are buildable with a brush, but you get more payoff initially if you use your fingers. And when you use your fingers they actually do, they blend out really really beautifully. But this is such a gorgeous shade. And then I'm just going to put a touch of this one here. This is the Rouge Franc. So I am going to apply this with my fingers. It is very pigmented. So I just want to put just a little bit through the apple. Just through here. and just, just a touch more. But for a really gorgeous summer look, then I think these two blushes just work beautifully together. And for lipstick today, I'm going to use one of the limited edition ones. This came out with the Plan de Paris collection, so I purchased this one at Harrods. This is a satin formula, and this one is Coral Avenue. And 
and I'll just swatch it on the back of my hand. So Coral Avenue in a satin formula. It's a really beautiful shade. So I think that the finished look is really pretty. It's such a beautiful summer look. The foundation stick is outstanding. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Now this is only the second type of foundation stick that I have purchased. I have a lot of foundations. I'd never really purchased any before and I don't count that Charlotte Tilbury one that was recently released because for me with my oily skin that was definitely a fail but this is just absolutely gorgeous. The packaging is beautiful. It blends out just gorgeous and it is super flattering on my mature skin it is blurring to some degree it's not cakey and it just melds with the skin and just gives this beautiful just softly focused look i think it's absolutely gorgeous and the contour stick is beautiful as well again this has the matte packaging unlike the foundation stick which has the shiny the glossy finish this looks beautiful, it blends beautifully and it also wears really well. The eyeshadow quint is beautiful. As I said, I have three of them now. I've done two videos on the other two. This is gorgeous as well. I do like it when I just add just a little bit more depth in the outer corner. And you don't need to use that new contour and glow, the 200. If you haven't got that, you can always just go, like I was saying before, just go with a deep cocoa brown eyeshadow and you'll get that depth. And I think it just brings out this just a little bit more. It's absolutely gorgeous. The Chanel blushes are beautiful. I absolutely love them. And I've been wearing them nearly every day since I got them. The formula is beautiful. It is this gorgeous cream, dries down to a powder. And now it just feels, I haven't powdered over these at all. And you've just got this beautiful powdery finish. And they have this, sheen but it is very subtle and just gives I think it gives quite a youthful look to the cheeks really gorgeous and I love the shade of the Dior lipstick the one in Coral Avenue I love pinky nude lipsticks with a little bit of brown in them and then for another shade that is my go-to I also really love corals as well I think it is a really beautiful shade so that's it for today's video. I would love it if you gave it a like and subscribed and I will see you next time. Bye.